Slowly but surely, we've been converting our RV's lights from incandescent, halogen, and fluorescent to LED. They use a fraction of the power and barely put out any heat. But sometimes there's a third reason to upgrade. Brightness. While LEDs are usually brighter than the bulbs they replace, sometimes they're a lot brighter. That's the case with several additional places we've upgraded or added to our outside lighting. As a rule, we don't generally work on RV projects at night, but sometimes things crop up when it's dark out. While our LED security and docking light upgrades both provide great overall area light, we decided to add a floodlight on the right side of the RV to focus intense light right on our work area. This heavy-duty aluminum flush-mounted floodlight is just what we need to create a super bright workspace. Just like all our other LEDs, we got it from M4. If you want to mount it outside, it's fully weatherproof and includes a rubber base gasket. It's also available in white. We're going to mount ours in our pegboard compartment. There's plenty of 12 volt power available here, so it'll be easy to connect. Two screws hold it in place. And we simply added a toggle switch to turn it on and off. It may not seem like much during the day, but at night we can really see how bright it is. Our LED basement lights are already very bright, but they don't hold a candle to this one. If we have a project that just can't wait till morning, it lights up our work area like nothing we've ever had. To increase our visibility to other traffic, we've always wanted to improve the lights on the back of our toad. They were installed over 15 years ago using a pretty common method, drilling additional holes in the back of the taillight assembly and installing dedicated brake tail turn signal bulbs. Of course, the installer used standard incandescent bulbs and we've never felt they were bright enough. We removed the old silicone sealant and removed the bulb. We'll be replacing it with this one, which is a lot brighter. It may look like a typical white LED, but it's actually red. That's because with LEDs, you want to match the bulb color to the lens. And of course, these are red lenses. After installing, we just add some fresh caulk, put the light back in place, and we're good to go. We don't think the video shows just how much brighter these lights are, but it's a lot. We increased visibility along our rig at night by installing a Roadmaster Nighthawk lighted tow bar. Now we're adding to that by upgrading our incandescent side marker and turn signal lights to LED. Since these are amber lenses, we're using amber bulbs. They're a lot brighter and will help keep our blind areas alongside the RV more visible. Another place we pumped up the light is by installing LEDs in place of our old backup lights. They throw a ton of light, perfect for those occasional nighttime campground arrivals. After helping Tyler from Tough Top Awnings install LED headlights he got from M4, he raved about them. So you may have seen that we did the same upgrade to our RV. Now we're upgrading our car as well. It's the same process. Remove the old bulb. Connect the LED into the same plug. Use the included double stick tape to attach the driver to the car. And you're all set. We didn't even need to adjust the aim, but if you need to, just follow the instructions in your car's owner's manual. Keep in mind that some vehicles can be picky with LEDs in certain locations, like turn signals, or with computer-controlled lights. If you have questions, reach out to Steve at M4 through his website. He's super responsive and really knows his stuff. Our overall visibility is better than ever thanks to M4 LEDs. If you'd like to LED your RV, remember that RV Geeks viewers save 5% with coupon code RVGEEKS5 at m4products.com. We hope this gives you some ideas for upgrading your RV too. Safe travels and thanks for watching.